to you, okay? Also, there will be no video recording um, of this session. We will handle the recording on this end to make sure that we post it on our admissions YouTube page for you to come back and view at a later date. And lastly, as you're navigating through the day, please use our hashtag NCATOH20 to let us know how you're enjoying the day. Um, and without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Sydney Dowd Smith. I'm the Associate Director of Freshman Admissions at the illustrious North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Dr. Angela White, one of my favorite people, to go ahead and just let you know a little bit about um, her college across campus. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Ms. Dowd Smith, and you are one of my favorite people as well. Good afternoon, students. Thank you for joining the College of Science and Technology. We're grateful that you decided to come to our session today. We do have a wonderful presentation and a host of outstanding panelists to take you through areas within the College of Science and Technology today. So I'll give you a really brief overview of the college. Our college is a pure STEM college. The dean of our college is Dean Abdella Amadouche. The associate dean is Dr. Vincent Childress, and I, Dr. Angela White, and the assistant dean for the College of Science and Technology. We have eight undergraduate departments and one PhD program. Within those eight departments, we have 13 undergraduate programs and seven graduate programs. We have 103 faculty and a host of adjunct faculty. Those are part-time faculty members. We also have really reached a milestone this year in that our college has over 2,000 students enrolled in it with 1761 being undergraduate students and 242 being graduate students. We are very proud to say that we have 20 plus active student organizations. So now we are going to introduce you to our eight undergraduate programs. And once each of these department representatives talks about their respective programs, we have some wonderful students within our college who are gonna share with you their experiences. So our first department is Applied Engineering Technology. Hi student, and welcome to our open house. My name is Aishu Zhou. I'm the Department Chair for Applied Engineering Technology. Uh, the Applied Engineering Technology Department, uh, we have offer applied engineering programs that will help you find good jobs in engineering and technology. Our students have been very active in a lot of hands-on activities. I'm glad that uh, we, they, our student groups, they did well in the past year. As you can see from the screen here, our student robot team won two national like competitions in the past year in 2019. Our faculty also uh, are very uh, good professors. We had one professor won the uh, junior faculty teaching award uh, at a university. So I'm very proud of our faculty's achievement as well. And we have a lot of alum, alumni across the country, actually uh, uh, all around the world, because we have uh, many students from other countries as well. Uh, our, uh, just the past year, uh, Mr. Makia Watkin won the uh, Distinguished Alumni Award at NT. So you can see we have our students are doing well, uh, find good jobs, and learn really well uh, in terms of, uh, and so do well in national competitions. Uh, we have two active student organizations, the Society of Manufacturing Engineers and the American Society for Quality. They have organized all these activities. So you, if you have more questions, I uh, will leave you my uh, email contact and also the department general email contact. Again, welcome to uh, this open house and thank you all. Good afternoon, students. My name is Dr. Murray. I am the interim chair, Department of Biology. So I just want to point out a few things that we have to offer you in the Department of Biology, among a number of things that are not listed here. So I will share with you a little bit later um, the link to our website so you can see a lot of the great things we're doing in the department. So a few uh, points of pride I want to point out is that we do have a dedicated pre-medical track uh, within the Department of Biology. 
And this includes students who are interested in going into medical school, but also professional schools such as dentistry and a number of other programs, uh, physician's assistant school, pharmacy. So a number of students joined this track uh, to get more training in the healthcare uh, field so that they can be prepared to apply for and enter professional school after they graduate. And we've had a number of students to go in right into uh, medical, dental, pharmacy school and have a number of them currently train, um, matriculating through different programs ac across the country. We also have a, a distinguished uh, research program within the department. I am the director of the MARC program, which stands for Maximizing Access to Research Careers. Uh, it's an undergraduate program that's uh, internationally recognized, and we have trained dozens of students who have gone on into graduate school, and these students are obtaining their PhDs. So just in the recent semester, um, in the spring and summer semester, from our program alone, we have had five alumni who have defended their PhDs recently, including one from New York University in New York, New York, one from University of Massachusetts, uh, one from Michigan, and two of them are neuroscientists and another one does research and STEM research. So we have a very robust uh, research program on the campus as well, leading to our third point of pride. And this includes a number of different disciplines, uh, including cancer. So I'm a cancer scientist myself. My background is in toxicology. And I actually am hosting a current um, course along with researchers from uh, North Carolina Central University and also UNC Chapel Hill. So it's dedicated to uh, telling students about the field of cancer research. But we also have researchers doing um, um, great research in the field of microbiology, immunology, bioinformatics, uh, physiology, evolution, toxicology, and we recently hired a neuroscientist. And so we're looking to develop that program as well. And all of us are interested in health disparities research. So we have a very substantial um, learning community with the largest uh, science department here at North Carolina a and We have over 650 undergraduate students. Uh, we have 14 master's students and 21 applied science and technology bioscience PhD graduate students being trained within the department. So a number of these students, uh, undergraduates, including the master's students, will go on to professional and graduate programs. And we are training our own doctoral students and a number of them have gone on to what we call postdoctoral trainings um, at vast, you know, different institutions across the country. So welcome um, to this session. And if you have any questions, of course, I will be entering information in the chat lately on how to contact myself, the department, and then also put in a few links to our department, including our curriculum guide. So welcome once again. Hello everyone. Um, so my name is Dong Yang Deng. I'm currently an assistant professor in the Department of Built Environment. So I'm the Built Environment represent representative for today's open house. So let me briefly introduce you the Built Environment. So uh, this department actually offers program areas uh, in construction management, environmental health and safety, and geomatics. Uh, Besides this, environmental health and safety also have an 18 credit hour undergraduate certificate program. So for environmental health and safety and geomatics, we both offer online options for their bachelor's degree and the certificate. Um, so in terms of the point of pride, so for our uh, geomatics program, uh, we have, we have uh, been ranked as number three best college for geographic information systems. Um, and we are one of the two HBCUs with an undergraduate construction management program accredited by ACCE. And also the construction management program is being accredited by ABET as well. Um, and also we are the first Bachelor of Science program in environmental health and safety uh, in the nation offered totally online. So the student come in, you would have the option to do it face-to-face, -face, online, or a hybrid. Um, and we have been producing the highest number of African-American graduates in construction management in the country. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see you guys in the panel and the Q&A. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, uh, this is a chemistry part of chemistry, the central science. So it's glad to see uh, you, those of you who are interested in chemistry. Currently, uh, we have about uh, 97 undergraduate students in, in our program and 16 faculty, uh, very capable faculty uh, and uh, very <coughs> intensive uh, research, uh, active faculty also. So one of our biggest uh, pride is that uh, our curriculum has several uh, courses that integrates into the system, into our uh, into our education um, that involves uh, direct participation of our undergraduates in a research. So we have a very diversified research uh, portfolio in the curriculum, and uh, and also we are very very uh, much. Uh, pushy in, in regard to forcing you guys to, those of you who are in, interested in our program, uh, going to internship, summer internship, and including study abroad uh, experiences in internship. Um, and ap apart from that, uh, we have been collecting uh, very modern uh, research equipments and uh, students are really uh, pushed to have some experience in uh, uh, cutting edge research uh, activity and, and the research and instruments. And uh, apart from that, we have uh, outstanding track record in preparing students in medical uh, field, pharmacy, cosmetics, and PhD level research careers. Uh, over the last six years, I was just uh, looking at our statistics. Over the last six years, we graduated about 40 students. And out of those 40 students, 21 students went to graduate schools. Uh, and that's more than 50%. So um, be assured that uh, if you join the department, the, the, the department will train you very well in medical areas, pharmacy, cosmetics, and uh, a host of other uh, careers, uh, including biological chemistry, chemical pharmacy, uh, organic chemistry, inorganic, bio-related, polymer, textile, and uh, including law school. Uh, uh, that uh, that uh, that are the needed or very much uh, uh, required uh, training that we give for our uh, for our undergraduates and and uh, so the host of career options are, are are a lot and so we're very much excited to train the next batch of our chemistry major so please join us and uh, we're very much uh, into that so thank you so much for. Uh, for your attention. Hello, good afternoon. This is uh, Devang Mehta from the Department of Computer Graphics Technology, which was uh, also you know, used to be Graphic Design Technology. So this is the uh, new department name, and uh, we have established a new uh, program in Computer Graphics Technology. So. Uh, you will receive a BS degree in computer graphics technology from, you know, if uh, this will be implemented in fall 2021. Uh, we have two track areas in uh, computer graphics technology. One is uh, user experience design and the other one is technical design. And user experience design is about uh, media design and logo design, video game design, gaming uh, animation, and uh, that's usually entertainment and printing, publishing, and packaging types of design. And technical design is more like a architecture, mechanical, and product design. So let me give you a few, you know, uh, say about the important highlights of our uh, program, this how it is different from uh, other programs, other academic programs. So first of all, this, uh, um, th there are very few programs uh, in the state that uh, they offer uh, knowledge in both the areas, design and uh, also in programming. So you learn about the design, but also you learn about programming related to web design and gaming. And also that's uh, in our program, it's, it's also in, it's fun, interesting, and those who are creative, I think I must say this, this, this is the program for you guys. That's if you are creative, if you want to uh, use your uh, imagination, your creativity, then this is the right field for you. Uh, you, can, uh, you can have you know, job opportunities in a variety of uh, companies, Industries in a uh, in uh, non-profit organizations or government agencies, like uh, for uh, example, uh, say uh, product design, technical design area. You can work in the manufacturing. You can work in the you know 
in the military also in the medical uh, field also and if you are on the user experience uh, design side then you can uh, also work in the any media company entertainment company like a uh, disney and uh, maybe you know facebook so there are lots of job opportunities plus you can uh, be your uh, own uh, employer you can be a self employed uh, freelance designer so you don't have to rely on just uh, jobs but you can have your own business also so that's how uh, our program differentiate from other uh, other programs that's you have you can have jobs plus you can do your part time you can have your business also and uh, also like uh, let me you know said that's about our one of the outstanding uh, student that's a uh, Zaria, that's a she. She has learned for for example, she she has a, her own design uh, program, and she helps uh, students in uh, regarding preparing them for the career. And uh, in our program, we usually use students learn more than ten, ten more than ten software applications. So that's the you know things that's a uh, you gain. That's without and once you have paid your tuition, you have access to use those uh, uh, software, and we have. Uh, three dedicated uh, labs, at least three dedicated labs for uh, design. So that's uh, from me, and I have posted my uh, information. So feel free to email me or uh, also look at our website. My phone number is also listed on the website. And uh, please get those information. And if you have any questions, then please uh, feel free to contact me. Okay, thank you. Um. Hi, I'm the faculty representative. My name is Gina Bullock, um, and I'm assistant professor in the computer systems technology. And our points of pride that we have and that we're so proud of, we have two degree programs, um, information technology and electronics technology. And offhand, uh, we have about 500, over 500 students in, in the area of um, information technology and electronic, electronics technology in our undergrad program. We have wonderful points of pride. And one of our biggest um, points of pride is where we're partnered with Cisco Networking Academy. And we are considered to be a Cisco Network Academy. We also, also have volunteer um, teachers that come on board from Cisco that work in conjunction with with me as a faculty member of Cisco. We offer certifications in CCNA and also, um, we have a lot of jobs, lots of jobs. Um, that's a lot of hiring going on. Um, Cisco, John Deere, no matter which department you're in, um, information technology and electronics technology, um, if there are opportunities at Lockheed Martin, Fidelity, Accenture, IBM, Texas Instrument, and more. So um, there are a plethora of jobs available to our students. And uh, we have an online, this is so, so amazing. We do have an online program in information technology and we was ranked among the top 10 in the nation in 2019. And so uh, we also are number three in the country for affordability by affordableschools.com. Um, and nearly 50% of our students acquired the certification of the ICND one and um, and this is the Cisco entry level industry recognized, recognized um, certifications. So we have numerous um, certifications and I'll highlight that later, but these are all of our highlights from our department. And we thank you for your time. And we thank you for coming on today to learn about our departments. Good afternoon, uh, student. Welcome to Aggie Nan, and uh, welcome you know um, uh, you to this uh, session. Uh, in the Department of Mathematics and uh, Statistics, we offer four different uh, undergraduate programs. First one is Applied Mathematics. Second one is Mathematics. Third one is Mathematics. Second at uh, secondary education. The fourth one is Statistics and uh, Data Science. We just changed their name. Uh, this uh, uh, fall semester, and uh, this is probably the one of the few, you know, and uh, undergraduate data science program at uh, HBCU cross relation. And additionally, we offer two undergraduate uh, minors program. One is in applied mathematics, another is in mathematics secondary education, 
And uh, starting this fall, we also offer a certificate program, 15 credit hour certificate program in data science and uh, analytical. Uh, as to the points of pride, and uh, uh, most still, you know, in the past have the uh, uh, perception that uh, mathematics uh, curriculum is a challenge, and it is, but uh, somehow it was overrated. You know, our program actually, and the curriculum are quite flexible, especially in our applied math, mathematics, statistics, and data science program. We have range, you know, from 12 to 15, hours of free elective or tactic elective. So you can choose classes outside of mathematics uh, department to enrich yourself and uh, expand your skills beyond uh, analytical scale, problem solving scale like communication skills and uh, uh, some other soft square, make yourself more marketable. Uh, that's number one. Number two, there was a perception that uh, there were not many jobs besides the teaching you know, for math majors. That was actually incorrect and uh, it's misperception. And uh, constantly in past 10 years, the Bureau of Labor Statistics and as well as Wall Street, some other job hunter uh, website, read mathematics and the top five uh, uh, jobs, you know, math statistics, uh, top five jobs and the uh, companies and the government agencies, uh, uh, private enterprise uh, uh, try to recruit. And most importantly, those jobs are with you know, very competitive uh, salary, studying salary, and also the read of the working environment for mathematicians, statisticians are in the most favorable, conducive. So take those two, you know, one, you have a very flexible uh, uh, curriculum too, and you have very contact, competitive and attractive you know, job market. And uh, uh, so you make yourself very marketable. And also we provide uh, other actual uh, curriculum activities like uh, 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 undergraduate research study abroad uh, to our student. And this past summer, we run the two undergraduate program a research program. One had 17 students focused on data science and analytical. Another had 10 students focused on biostatistics and biomathematics. And all research projects are related to the current events. And the majority of our student research project focus on a pandemic, a COVID-19 pandemic related research. And additionally, we offer study abroad program and in the spring and also some research international research uh, experience for student program so and uh, uh, we try to enrich our experience student experience and i will put my contact information uh, in the chat as i always say you know it's a good time to be a math major so please consider mathematics as your uh, I'll pursue your undergraduate degree. Thank you. My name is Chi Quan Tong. Um, I'm representing the Department of Physics here today. Um, physics department has two program. One is the physics program. The other is the atmospheric science and meteorology program. Um, there are two independent programs and within the physics program we have several concentrations, including biological physics, engineering physics, interdisciplinary physics, and uh, physics secondary education. As you probably know that physics is a fundamental science that, that help you to bridge the mathematical framework to the real world. So that's part of the underlying reasons why we have all those different concentrations that you can choose from. So if you are interested in biological science, but you want something more quantitative and more basic, then we have biological physics for you. If you're interested in engineering, we have engineering physics, so on and so forth. In, in terms of the employment, we have physics actually offers a lot of employment opportunities outside the traditional box. 
for example, we have students graduated and employed at NASA or Space Force. Those are a little bit more traditional physics. Um, we also have people working in the industry and companies so on and so forth. We have uh, NSF, IRES, International Research in Geosciences. This, this program provides um, international the summer travel opportunities for, for our students to, to go to Botswana for a different geoscience experience. We also have a lot of capacity, a lot of capacity in a variety of research areas. One of those is one of those is our capacities in astronomy and and astrophysics. Um, we have an observatory and we have a planetarium, which will be used as an integral part of those education. We are also having a new hire in the area. So if you have any, if you have any questions or if you are interested in any of our aspects, please feel free to let us know. Thank you. Thank you to our department representatives for the overview for your respective areas. Now we have a host of student panelists who are gonna share their respective experiences with you all. So I'm gonna call on them kind of in the order of their program of study. First from AET, I would love for Maurice Burnett to share his experience with you all as an AET student. Hey, hello everybody. My name is Maurice Burnett. I don't know if I can get my video. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, hello everybody. It's nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Maurice Burnett. I'm an AET major and my concentration is in manufacturing processing engineering. Um, so basically, I'm going to keep this short. Uh, my experience so far in the AET and um, in the AET department has been very unique, especially in the way that we're able to conduct ourselves. Um, as far as mathematics and statistics go, we do have the most when it comes to statistics and quality control, which quality control is in all facets of our lives, uh, from the daily products that you get, uh, no matter how small, from a pencil all the way up to an automobile to an airplane. Um, quality control is this aspect in that, and there is it's a very underhired. Uh, job. So me actually being able to experience that at AET, which I would have even never heard of quality control, uh, definitely led me into, I definitely say into a very, very bright future. Uh, and I will definitely say that AET also has helped me establish myself as a leader. Currently, I'm the ASQ uh, president, which is American Society for Quality. And we are also going to start for AET students, uh, specifically, we're going to start offering free uh, certification, accredited certification, so you can um, not just do quality control, you can do, become a quality control specialist at hospitals, making sure that um, patients and care patients, uh, they don't over exceed the amount that the hospital is able to hold. Uh, I think you've heard that during COVID where they've been having a lot of maximum outputs that um, the hospital is able to hold in. Uh, so we're also doing that too. And not only that, AET is very, very diverse into getting um, into actually letting you take the courses that you want. Uh, if you want to take an engineering course, uh, a very high mathematical statistics or calculus, that's very fine for them. And that can be instantly transferred over to a for, for AET students. So that is very amazing. And not only that, the staff and the professors have been very, very helpful. I've actually been in multiple competition, robotic competitions. And I've also been, uh, got to be a part of a co-op with Iowa State University uh, with one of my professors. Uh, and we're doing a CNC virtual programming for the virtual um, Odyssey for the virtual Oculus Rift. So that has been a very uh, amazing experience. And AET is the only department that has the most advanced technologies uh, in, the entire, in the entire college. So from 2D Oculus to uh, 3D uh, to 3D Oculus Rifts. It's been really amazing. Thank you. We are extremely proud of Maurice and I saw his chairperson smile um, with great pride of what he has accomplished. Thank you, Maurice, for sharing your experience. Now we will move on to Malik Mitchell, 
from the biology department. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Malik Mitchell. I am a senior biology student. I'm also the president of the Minority Association of Pre-Medical Students. That's an organization on our campus for students interested in medicine and health careers. Um, I'm gonna keep it brief. Um, I love the biology department at a and um, Ever since before I was a student, they offered so many opportunities that other universities did not. For example, um, with the PPSP program, the Pre-Professional Scholars Program, they offer um, something called the Early Assurance Scholars Program for in-state students where you can compete your senior year of high school for a seat um, at the Brody School of Medicine at ECU um, while you're in high school um, your senior year and you can get a guaranteed seat. Um, that program really attracted me to the university. Um, and on top of that, the biology department is great. They provide so much support um, and they push so many opportunities. They tell you about so many opportunities through email and through Blackboard. Um, I was able to participate in many summer programs. Um, I participated in a pre-health summer program at UNC Chapel Hill called the uh, Science Enrichment Preparation Program. Um, that was after my freshman year. After my sophomore year, I was able to conduct uh, molecular biology and pharmacology research in the lab at UNC Chapel Hill and present my research on the travel grant for free um, at the annual biomedical research conference for minority students. Um, but to just sum up my experience um, in the biology department, they have been great. Um, the faculty and staff uh, provide so much support for their students. Um, and I feel like if you, whatever you want to do, no matter if you want to become a medical doctor, a dentist, a pharmacist, whatever, even if you want to become a patent lawyer or a teacher, I think um, the biology department is a, a great place to start. Thank you, Malik. We are proud of Malik as well. I want to jump down to Christopher Jackson from Applied Engineering Technology to share his experience. And after Christopher, we will move to Zaria from Computer Graphics Technology. Uh, how's it going, everyone? My name is Christopher Jackson. I'm a senior Applied Engineering Technology student at North Carolina a and I'm gonna actually be graduating in December of 2020. Um, since I've been here at a and I've managed to get three internships. Um, my first two, I did mechanical design engineering uh, for two different companies. Uh, most recently, this past summer, I was able to intern with Lockheed Martin as a project planning and operations intern, and that did result in a full-time offer. So that's where I'll be going following graduation in December. Um, Maurice pretty much covered our whole department very well. Um, one thing he was right about is the diversity within our program. A lot of people ask us what makes us different from um, the College of Engineering. Um, like the traditional engineering is like mechanical, industrial, electrical, and so on. Um, the thing about us is that we don't hone in on one form of engineering. It's basically general engineering. And like uh, Maurice's, um, I can't remember what his discipline is, but like my, my concentration has been project management my whole time throughout this. So that's one of the cool things about our program. You kind of get your um, feet wet in everything. If you want to get an autom automation, um, quality control, like Maurice said, um, like me, project management, um, we also offer qualifications, like Marie said, I managed to get my Lean Six Sigma green belt, which opened a lot of doors for me in terms of getting into corporate. Um, so yeah, that's really it for me. Thank you all. Yes, sir. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Zaria Cameron. I'm a junior, um, well, graphic design student, uh, a part of the computer graphics uh, technology department. And um, I'm gonna kind of answer the Q&A question that I know was asked. Um, uh, I think this program, um, I'm an out-of-state student, so uh, really wanting to find the best program for me around being a part of technology as well as allowing me to hone on my creative side. Um, I don't think I've ever seen like a department, a design department, especially like HBCU that allows you to like really explore um, graphic design and game design and web design all in one. Um, so that was really a great experience to me. Um, in terms of internships, I had one last summer and I already have a few offers lined up for this summer. Um, so really excited about that. Um, it's just allowed me to present so many different opportunities. I even had like a shadowing opportunity with one of my professors. Um, and she allowed me to just like uh, learn about, you know, 
web design with her and what she does. And um, honestly, if you guys do choose a and um, I know that Dr. Meta had mentioned my program, um, which really does help Black college students in design, excel in the industry. And because I'm an a and student, I have a lot of companies that I work with that want to hire design students, more Black design students, um, especially if they're a and students, because I'm an a and student. So if you guys do choose to make that decision to come here, um, you guys can be a part of my program and see all the different opportunities that, that I have that I've provided to the design students. Excellent. Thank you, Zaria. And Zaria did not mention that she won a major hackathon um, last year. So we are super duper proud of her. We have three wonderful representatives from chemistry, Tassiana, Mary, and Femi. If the three of you all would share your respective experience, we'll start with Tassiana, then travel to Mary, and Femi, you can close us out. Hello, my name is Tassiana Montgomery and I'm a senior chemistry student and I'm actually from Seattle, Washington. The main reason I even came to AMT, uh, it didn't really have much to do with chemistry. It was just, um, I was actually at a hair salon and I had two alumni that were there from a job for Microsoft and Boeing. And they were telling me that they got this job due to the, all the internships that AMT offers them. And so like, that on top of the opportunities plus like the family environment that they said a and had convinced me to come to a and And so I knew that I really loved chemistry. So that was just like a no brainer. And um, I'm actually in school to be a pharmacist. So after this, I plan on going to pharmacy school somewhere in Texas. Um, and so while I was in my undergrad, I was able to uh, study abroad. I this time last year, I was in Cyprus, which is a little tiny island kind of off of Greece. And so I'm a huge advocate for studying abroad. I'm actually the president of Aggies Abroad. So we work hand in hand with the Office of Student um, of International Affairs. And so a lot of people think if you're a STEM student, you can't go abroad, but there's actually so many opportunities for you to go abroad. And like, in fact, um, because of Dr. Asefa, my uh, department chair, he was able to um, give me like an opportunity and I was able to get, get accepted into a pharmaceutical research program where I'd be doing research in London. Unfortunately, due to COVID, I couldn't go this summer, but it was postponed to next summer, so fingers crossed. But all in all, it's a great family experience. Um, it is a small group, but like by the time you're a senior, you know everybody and it's like really family oriented. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mary Taylor. I am a chemistry student here at a and as well. Um, the reason I chose ANT actually, it wasn't my first choice. It actually grew on me. I really fell in love with the community that the chemistry department has. It's like Tassiana said, it is a very family oriented organization and I really loved the department. Um, my experiences here have been amazing. I can truthfully say that I have grown as an individual personally and professionally through this university and through the relationships that I've been able to build between the faculty and my peers. Um, some tips that I could give to you guys for thinking about this department would be staying organized um, has been one of the best things for me. Uh, using professional relationships. So getting to know your professors a lot has really pushed my leadership skills to the next level. During my sophomore year here at a t me and a group of women were able to start a new organization on campus called Women's in Science and Technology. Through that organization, we were able to create an environment for STEM women to be able to interact, just push themselves professionally, and just open new doors for them as they're coming into a t And the reason we started that is because we didn't have much of that women environment around the chemistry department and STEM in general. So that was a really big push for me. And after that, I was able to move further into my leadership skills. I was actually able to work with Dr. White exclusively to start creating a brothers and sisters program within the chemistry department to try to help um, potential students coming in. So you guys trying to get a segue into what it would be like going into A&T. So 
due to COVID, we were not able to push that as much as we would have liked, but it is still in the works and still being talked about. As far as internships go, I was able to secure an internship with UCLA through a and um, Due to COVID, we weren't able to actually go out there, but it has been extended to next year. So very much looking forward to that. Um, all in all, I can say that this is a very winning environment. The professors want to see you win. The peers want to see you win. And you have support around you endlessly. If you can't find somebody, there's always somebody else that you can reach out to. And I can honestly say that this has been a great choice for me. And hopefully it'll be a great choice for you if you decide to go here. And Femi, for time's sake, if I can pull some students from the other programs, hopefully we'll be able to wrap back around to you, but we only have about four minutes remaining. So I would like to move over to built environment with Jacob and Olivia sharing their respective experiences, and then we'll jump down to physics. Uh, good morning, guys. So uh, my name is Jacob Vanderpool. Um, I'm a junior construction management student under the built environment department. Um, I started in this program three years ago. Um, I originally was a chemistry major, but I changed my major because I had a change of heart, pretty much. Uh, my dad is related in construction, so I figured why not just do it as my, uh, as my career, because I do it so much with him over the summer. And uh, it was, it was, I'm pretty sure it was the, it was, it was the right choice, for sure. Um, this department is very, very good. Um, when you come into these programs, all, they have all these different classes that hit the critical points you need once you graduate to help you in the career field and all the faculty and staff uh they always they're pushing they push everyone to join organizations uh and get all the internship opportunities you can because getting that experience under your belt can help you get a job after you graduate of course um i'm a i'm the president of one of the organizations uh, national association of home builders student organization um this focuses around residential construction, but if you have any interest in any construction whatsoever, I recommend this program. Uh, a lot of people don't really know about this program. I didn't for sure, but once I found out about it, um, I'm glad I joined, but there's lots of opportunities. And if construction is what you wanna pursue, I recommend this program. Um, hello, my name is Olivia Nick. Um, I am a sophomore in the geomatics program under built environment. Um, my, um, my experience in geomatics is I'm a non-traditional student um, and just being a non-traditional student, there, are, there has been so many opportunities um, provided to me, uh, research programs, cost, AEC women, um, innovation teams that I've joined and I've actually have been um, very close knit with the chair, um, Dr. Ferguson. She's very, very, she's an awesome chair um, for built environment. Um, you may find yourself in her office a lot because um, she's always looking for ways to help you succeed. Um, the coordinator for geomatics is a woman. Her name is Professor Fresner. She's very, very awesome. Um, I'm so happy that she was a woman because I can relate to her in many ways. Um, she's done a lot to help me. Um, what I plan to do with my, um, bachelor, my bachelor's in geomatics is to be an aerial surveyor. So I wanna focus on um, surveying with drones. Um, that's very exciting to me. Um, I originally came into geomatics um, with curiosity and a leap of faith. And um, it turns out that I actually really like um, the major that I've chosen. So just to keep it brief, that's all I have. <laughs> Thank you so much, Olivia. Um, thank you to all of our panelists and all of our students. Unfortunately, we will not be able to get to everyone today. Um, that 45 minutes does go by pretty fast. 
um, but I've just had a few event reminders. Um, use the virtual open house guide through the guidebook app to customize your schedule for the remainder of the day. We do have some concurrent sessions that are going to be going on at three o'clock with some of our other on campus um, department student activities and career services. Also, an admissions and final aid, financial aid, excuse me, counselor, they're going to be available in our virtual lobbies. And so you can access the links to virtual lobby in your guidebook as well. If you need a virtual tour, please um, visit the link in your guidebook as well to get a virtual tour with some of our Aggie ambassadors. Ambassadors. And lastly, please be sure to take the survey. We want to know how the virtual day was for you, as well as the virtual sessions that you attended. Um, and lastly, I just want to give a special thank you to um, all of my panelists today, all of our students, all of our faculty and staff. Thank you so much for the hard work that you do. And I hope that my guests and attendees, you really enjoyed the session. This is just a little bit into Aggie land. There's so, so much more to our students and to our faculty and staff that we hope that you will join us next fall um, as a student on campus. But thank you all so very much for all your participation, your assistance. And um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you.